Hi boys and girls. Tonight we are going to be looking at the volume of L-shaped blocks. Uh, we need to be thinking about volume as being additive, which means we need to add two rectangular prisms or shapes together to get the total volume. First question we need to ask ourselves when we look at a structure like this is, we always have to find a spot to break up the shapes. So where can we break this shape apart? I am gonna look at this L-shaped block and think of dividing it right here. Um, right here, okay? And so now that we've done that, now that we've divided the structure in two, we need to redraw the two pieces. Okay, so we're gonna redraw the two shapes so that we can picture them by themselves. So the first shape I'm gonna draw on my separate sheet of paper here is going to look like this. It's gonna look exactly the same as you see it here. It's going to come down all the way. Okay. The second shape I'm going to draw is going to look like this. Okay, once I have the two shapes drawn, I'm going to label all the dimensions. So the first dimension I'm going to draw right here is I'm just gonna transfer three meters right here. Three meters. All right. The length here is gonna stay the same. It was 10 meters. So it's gonna remain 10 meters. And then I need to figure out how wide it is over here. And I know from, from what it tells me over here is it's two meters wide. Now I've, I've kind of shortened this 11 meter length right here. So I have to figure out what my new dimension is going to be. So I'm going to take the 11 meters that we were originally, and I'm gonna subtract the three meters right here. So 11 take away three is eight. So this is now eight meters long. It's still, as you can see, two meters high. And the depth is going to be two meters here, okay? Now that I've done that, I'm going to record the dimensions. Three meters by 10 meters by two meters. Three by 10 by two. And for this particular shape, we have eight meters by two by two. So let's figure out the volume of each shape before we can add it together. Three times 10 is 30, and 30 times two is 60. 60 meters, and this is how we write that. And then we also have eight times two times two, so eight times two is 16, and 16 times two is 32 cubic meters, okay? We're gonna add 60 plus 30 
and we are going to get 92 cubic meters, okay? Let's go back to our original L-shaped block and let's record what we uh, just figured out here. So we determined that the cubic meters on this shape itself was 60 cubic meters and down here we had 32 cubic meters and when we added them together we had 92 cubic meters okay so we have done the first problem together let's take a look at uh, problem two I can see my pen here bled through. Um, in terms of where are we going to break this L-shaped block up? All right, I think I am going to break it right here so that we can look at this piece that I'm shading in in purple right now as one piece. And I'm gonna look at this piece down here, this long flat piece, okay, as another shape. So let's take a look at the purple piece here. We have, we're gonna redraw the two pieces now. Uh, because we want to try to picture them by themselves and I am going to have a piece that's going to be long okay so it might look like this and my other piece right here is going to be like this. Okay. Um, let's think about the dimensions. Let's take a look at the didn't get to see me draw those. Um, let's take a look at the, this purple piece right here. What do we know? We know that this is two centimeters wide. Uh, we don't have the dimension for, for this length right here. So let's take a look back at our original drawing and See what we can figure out here. We know that from here to here, from this point to this point, is four centimeters. And we also know that from here to here, from this point to the bottom, is two centimeters. So let's add four plus two is six. So we know that the length of this side right here is six centimeters, okay? So we know two by six. Now we just have to figure out how, how deep it is, how wide it is here. I'm going to use the information I have on my original shape. It's the same width as this piece right here, which is three. So I can label that three centimeters, okay? Now let's try to go back and label the blue piece that we have. So we know it's three centimeters. We know that the entire length of both of these pieces here is seven. But we cut it, we cut it right here. So seven, let's take away the two centimeters wide it is. So now this new piece is going to be five centimeters. And we still can look over here and see that it's 
two centimeters high. Okay, now we have the dimensions of both of our shapes, the blue and the purple. Let's take a look at them alone. So we have a three by two by five. That was the blue. And over here we have a two by three by six. All right, let's take, let's solve the first volume. Three times two is six, and six times five is 30. And we're gonna write it like that. And then our next shape is two by three, which is also six times six is 36 cubic centimeters. Let's add the two together and we get 66 cubic centimeters, okay? We are gonna go back to our original drawing and transfer that information. The three by two by five was 30 cubic centimeters and the other one was 36 cubic centimeters total volume here additive we're going to add the two together 66 cubic centimeters okay I'm going to ask you right now to circle number three on your paper and then I want you to work on numbers three, four, five, and six on your own right now, okay? You're going to pause the video and work on three through six by yourself. And I'm gonna start you off when you resume playing the video on number seven. I'm gonna walk you through number seven. Okay? So please pause your video now. Okay, I hope doing numbers three through six was as easy as it seemed and we are gonna continue working with number seven. I am going to divide it. I, I look at the shape and I think, how will I divide it? I'm gonna divide it right here, okay? Right here. And again, just so you can visually see, I'm gonna color this piece in red. And I'm going to color this piece in blue. Okay, now we know what our two shapes are. We are going to redraw the two pieces so that we can picture them by themselves. And we are going to label all the dimensions. So let's take a look at our first piece. Ooh. Okay, which is this long red piece right here. I'm going to try to redraw this shape. Oops, did I do this right? Okay. It wasn't so perfect, but we're not always perfect here. All right, and let's see the second shape is right here. Okay, that's the second shape. All right, let's start with what we know. We know that this red piece right here, 
We have three inches wide. We are nine inches here. And we are 10 inches here. Sorry, that's a little messy. I hope you can read that. Okay, we are 13 inches across here, five inches here, and we don't really know this dimension over here, but I'm sure it's the same as this, 10 inches, okay? So I'm gonna label that 10 inches. Okay, so let's record all our new dimensions for the first red piece. We have a three by nine by 10. And then we also have a 13 by five by 10. Okay, so I'll start off with three times nine, 27 times 10 is 270 cubic inches. And then we have a 13 times five, which is 65 times 10 650 cubic inches. Okay, let's add those two together because we know volume is additive. And we get seven plus five is 12. Carry one, 920 cubic inches. Let's go back to our original drawing and label each of those pieces. We have the red piece which is 270 cubic inches. And we have the blue piece, which is 650 cubic inches. And together, total volume, 920 cubic inches. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. Ms. Tiki and I are going to ask you to complete numbers eight and nine on your own. And it might be fun to use two different colored crayons or colored pencils to divide your um, shapes in half so that we can see that you understand the distinction between the two. And um, I hope you had fun using this video to help you do your homework.